Hi everyone. Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. Hey, Monique. Sorry, I'm a couple of, maybe a minute late. I was adjusting my stand and my microphone. So hopefully the microphone is working well. So my name is Marianne Cowan. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Ottawa, Canada. I come live Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 3 o'clock. Hopefully to inspire you, definitely to showcase Stampin' Up! products and how versatile and fun they are to use. And hopefully you'll want to buy some. So this week we are working on Valentine's Day or friendship or anything really love related or friendship related and we're going to do a card and a little treat holder today and I'm going to be using the Hello Ladybug this is a photopolymer stamp set it's part of a bundle and it comes with a coordinating punch which is super cute and I did try using the flower but I actually ended up not using it on my card. But it's a great stamp set, bundled together. It's in the new mini catalog and a great one to have in your stamp room. And it would be fun to make spring and summer cards as well. And you can make ladybugs many different colors. I also saw someone use the same punch and made a bumblebee, which was really cute. And I'll have to try that, but in a card later on, not today. So we're going to start with our card and we're going to start with this little piece of wisp, uh, basic white and this is the contour scallop shaped die and I just want to add some sky to our card because we're going to have the ladybug and I don't want it just to be white. I want it to look like the ladybug is in the sky so we're just going to take a second not even adding any ground, just sky to this one. And that's how quick and easy it is with the blending brushes. And the blending brushes are available in packs of three from Stampin' Up. These are, I've had blending brushes before, but nothing compares to these ones. They're just beautiful. And I have about six with different colors. So I use this one with lots of different shades of blue. Okay, now we've got that ready. Actually, today's card is a fun fold, which I usually save for Fridays, but it just happened that when I designed it, it ended up being a fun fold. So my card is eight and a half by five and a half. This is real red cardstock. Hey guys. Scored at two and three quarters and seven. So it's gonna fold in like this. And this is the piece for the inside. So let's go ahead. Let's see which glue is gonna to work today. I actually opened a new one just in case, but I like using up my other ones. So just a bit of liquid glue in the inside. gonna be fun. Then we have our Sweet Talk Designer Series paper and I am using which piece? This piece and actually the back side as well. They have really fun front and backs on this set of paper and it's just really really cute. I'm trying to keep my space tidy today so I don't lose stuff. I don't know why I always lose it. Anyways, so this is the back and we're gonna use that for the other piece. So these pieces are two and five eighths by five and a half. 
and then this one is one and three eighths by five and a half. Really, I just took my piece of four and a quarter, no, four by five and a quarter. It's five and a quarter, not five and a half. Let's just change that. And just for fun, I'm gonna use the back side. Although the front side is also very pretty. So I just want to make sure it's lined up at the top. You don't notice so much at the bottom, but if it's lined up at the top, it should be lined up at the bottom because I cut it from the same piece of paper. Okay, now we have our front piece, which I am going to pop up, but we're going to assemble it first. Don't want to forget this little thing. So we have our blue sky. We have this flower cut from Dandy Wishes dies. It's actually this one. And I'm going to cut this part off. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. So I really just want the stem. I'm going to put it a little bit to the side because we're, we are going to add our ladybug. Now the ladybug is made with the punch, so the punch punches the back part. And then this is the the beautiful shimmer, oh, what's it called? Supple shimmer paper that's in the mini catalog. It comes, it just says blue and pink. So the pink matches a few of our pinks and the blue I would say is uh, pool party. It would look nice with Coastal Cabana. It's got little flecks in it of different shades of blue. So it's supple shimmer paper. And then I have the small, I think it's called the medium, Daisy. Two of them punched out. So originally for the background, I was going to stamp it with the flower from the stamp set, but then I realized that that's way too busy for this card. <laughs> So, but it is pretty and I will save it and use it for something else. Hey Wanda. So we have our ladybug, let's glue it together. And I will tell you, I was on the hunt for Google eyes because I thought, oh, that would be so cute. And so I used rhinestones just to try. Stampin' Up! used to sell Google eyes, but they don't have any right now. Anyway, so I did one with Google Eyes, just rhinestones, and he looks a little possessed. And then I realized that his eyes are on the other side, not this side. If you're going to put his eyes like that, you would have to put his wings like this, because this is the back of the ladybug. So I nixed the idea for eyes. It was a good idea, though. You could put rhinestones here, I guess. Okay, let me get back to what I was doing. Let's glue these together. So I like to glue them together and just offset them. That was a bit too much glue, to be honest. Then I have shimmer paper. Now, surprisingly, this is the half inch punch and this is the 3 8 inch, inch punch, not from Stampin' Up. I have it for something, another little project. So I'm just going to dab some glue, add that there. All right, and then we do have our sentiment that I'm going to cut up and put on. I'm going to give these a little bit of a curl. Hey, Diane. These are things that are just fun to play with in your craft room. All right, a little bit of glue on here. My glue is holding out. Comes out in blobs though. There we go. So I do want it kind of to this side. Then the flower. 
and let's use a dimensional. Anyone else crafting today? I was out snowshoeing earlier. There is a lot of snow, I'm just saying. It was slow slogging through. Okay. And then we have our ladybug. Now, for the fun part, we're going to add a wobble. Now, I'll have to remember we want it springy. Haven't used these in a while. Okay, so we want the bigger side against our ladybug. So these I get from Amazon. They're called Action Wobbles. These are the minis, and there's larger ones that are quite a bit larger. This doesn't seem to be an in-between size. I think I'm gonna put him on in a minute. Now for my sentiment, I'm just thinking of, because it was a little bit too big. Let me try though. I was gonna cut out all the pieces, which I still might do. Or I could just do a little flag. It was too big to stamp right across there. But it might, this might work. I'm just going to go in from each end. All right, that might be cute. I'm going to the Get all the stuff out of the way and then we'll have our little B and it's going to go right here so I am going to center it and I am going to pop it up so I'm going to fold it over so I know exactly where to put my dimensionals could have used strips of dimensionals. I never think of those. It might be, it might take, it might be quicker is what I'm going to say. So this is going to go in the middle. Now to keep it closed, I've die cut a heart out of the same supple shimmer paper. But I did also die cut a, p a piece of thick basic white because I wanted it a little thicker, I wanted it a little thicker. And that's going to be our clasp to hold the card together. Just very loosely. So I'm going to put two dimensionals, maybe, on the bottom. And we'll see if that's going to work as a little catch to keep the card closed. So I don't want it to be too far up because that'll make it trickier to open and close. So I just want it, whoopsie. I don't know if anyone will know to close it like this, but. Sometimes once you open and close it a couple of times, it makes it easier. All right, well, it kind of gives it a little bit of closure. And I think these can get popped up using mini dimensionals, or this, I should say. And then we'll add our wobble. I'm not sure this is doing much good, but it looks cute. It does keep it from flopping right open. So there we've got our happy Valentine's Day. And now we'll add our little star of the show, our little ladybug. 
So the big part to the top. And it is clear plastic, so it doesn't look bad, you, even if you see it. Well, you don't really see it, actually, to be fair. So he's, we want him to be flying into the flower, but we want the wobble to be <laughs> not off the page. All right, there we go. So cute. All right, not sure the little latch is doing much, but anyways, it's cute. So there's our card. And I will post the measurements. I'm going to do a blog post, so I'll po post them on the blog. Wobbles are just fun. What can I say? Now we're going to make a little coordinating treat box to go with it. So I have a piece of paper. I'm going to put this on the back of the card. So when I do the measurements later, I will know where they are. So this is thick cardstock. 11 by 3 scored at 1, 5, and 7. Now I went ahead, just for time's sake, and put my piece of designer series paper on the front. Then I took my layered circle die and cut out a circle. So this is not um, to just dump candy in. I'm gonna put a little cellophane bag of candy in here. So what I also did ahead of time is I took the same circle, you need the same size, and then the scallop that's a bit bigger, put it down, put them together actually, and ran it through my stamp and emboss machine, and then I got this little piece here, which is going to go on here. Just adds a nice little element and it's very sparkly. I think I want the other end. And I was thinking of using the adhesive strips but I actually want to be able to move this around a little bit because it's hard to get it on perfectly the first time. So if you were doing another little box, you could have added a layer of window sheet, but I don't need to because I have a little plastic bag. All right, so there, that's good. So now I have another little piece of designer series paper, 7 eighths of an inch by 2 and 7 eighths, which I'm going to put on, and it's the top flap of our little treat holder. Now it's going to go down this way. You do have to think about up and down because of the way this box folds. So this is going to be the top little piece. So I want to make sure that it's not upside down. Although with this paper I'm not sure it makes a huge difference but I would know. Okay. So now we have that, we have that. Let's go ahead and put our little bag of treats. These candies I got at a local store called Farm Boy. They have them in pink, blue, all sorts of colors. So it's just in a little cello bag. And what I'm going to do is put a little bit of tear and tape across the back. Just to hold it in place. This step is not necessary. You can see there was a piece there before. And this is the perfect size. That's why I chose this width for the box. So this is going to go over top. And then I'm going to take some ribbon. I brought them both out. This is the red faux linen ribbon. And this is the cotton petal pink ribbon from the ribbon. Um, it's a pack of pink petal pink and misty moonlight. I think I'm going to try the red. 
and I'm hoping, this is a hope, that the ribbon will hold it shut. But for the time being, I'm just going to clip it. I need to adjust this a little bit. You can glue the whole thing together, but then someone, when they take it apart, have to rip the whole thing apart. So let's see if this is going to work. So I'm going to tie a nice bow. So I need a fairly good size of ribbon. And I'm going to do it to one side because I have a little tag to add. Let's see if I can do this. This ribbon actually ties really nice bows. All right, so it does hold it together. It needs to go down a little bit more. All right, so that looks good. Whoops, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. So then I pop, I cut out a couple of different little tags just for you. This one is from The Sweetheart Dies. It's this one right here. And this one is from the Taylor Tags. So I wasn't really sure how I was going to do it. I think I like this one. Just kind of stuck. I'm going to just put a glue dot and glue dot it right to the little container. All right, so we've got that. And then we have another of our little friends to add to this. And I'm not sure about a wobble. We'll see exactly where we're going to put it. That will decide if we're going to use a wobble or not. I just think these wings are adorable. So obviously you could do a red body for a red lady, ladybug. We have orange ones around here that actually bite. They're not my friend. I think we can do a wobble, although it's kind of a weird place for it to wobble. Let's do it anyways, because wobbles are really fun. So again, we put the big part of the spring to the top. or to the whatever we want to wobble. I did it backwards one time and it doesn't wobble. So learn from me. All right. It's one of those, it's like tear and tape. Once you get it started, it comes off easily. It's just getting it started. So I think this would be a cute little card and treat box to send to somebody. So we do want to make sure that this is on and when it wobbles, it's not going to be wobbling and hitting the ground. All right, that just popped out. If you had a cute little clip, um, it would be f easy to just clip this in place instead of counting on the ribbon to hold it in place. Which it does, but not as effectively. I think because I put that glue dot there actually. Let me just, there we go. All right, so now we have our little treat container with our little wobbly guy. And this was left over when I cut this out, so I'll save that and use it for something else. and our card. Oh, thanks.
Thanks, Pam. You might want to rethink how I did this or put it up a little bit higher. I mean, it stays shut. It's not going to, oh, there we go. It's just because I was playing around with it. All right, those are our projects for today. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you try them out. This one is just a smidgen overlapping. And you could add some rhinestones, but there's so much glitter on here, I didn't feel like I needed to add a bunch of rhinestones, but obviously you could add some iridescent rhinestone basic jewels or something else to add a little bit more shimmer. Yeah, Sylvia, I thought about a magnetic closure and I do have some, so I will try that. And I also have little Velcro ones that I could try as well because it's not really thick, so I think it would close quite easily. But you get the idea. And I'll post the measurements when I do my blog post. All right, so thank you for joining me today. I do appreciate it if you like or share my video. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you'll know when I post a new video. So I will be back on Friday with a fun fold I think we've done fun folds. Yes, we did fun folds every day this week because we're focusing on cards and treat holders. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and thanks for joining me. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks, Pam. I'll just stay and see if there's any questions. <laughs>